After what can only be described as several weeks worth of terrible weather in Japan during monsoon season, this month's Gacha 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 Crate has finally arrived. And um, in fact, this is October's one, despite the fact we're midway through November. But to be fair, the shipping, wo uh, shipping notice I got from them did actually say something like a freighter had been blown into the side of the factory that was in charge of packing this. So they got a very good reason to um, be a bit late. And as you can see uh, in front of us, as with last month, we've got a crit. Wait a second, why is he wearing a moustache? What is he doing, November? <laughs> He's not. But you know who is? I am. I'll link. A, I'll leave a link to the um, my November page uh, in the comments below. No, fuck. In the video description below. That's what I meant. Anyway, on with this video. So, as with last month, uh, if you don't know what a gacha is, it's shorthand for the Japanese word gachapon or gachapon, which is kind of a um, plastic egg machine thing. You put some money in, and it gives you one of like. A few different figures from a set. Um, you've probably seen them in America and stuff, but obviously we get a different one uh, than the Japanese. And this, hello, Gacha Gacha Crate family. Uh, I'm going to have a quick read of this, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is just a um, a quick thing saying that apparently this month we meant to get a Neko Kaburo uh, Gachapon, something cat, um, whatever the hell that is. We meant to get that, but due to the um, horrific like typhoons and stuff, I assume their shipment was messed with. So it said what the replacement thing is down below. I won't show it on camera because I don't want to give away what that thing is. And of course we get a little booklet saying it's the October 2018 version. That is a picture of the storehouses or something. I'm not going to open it up because that tells you what's in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to delve my hand in, really, and pick out... Ooh, this feels like a small one. It's a pink and white thing. Oh, God. Oh, it's these ones. I really hate these. You've got to, like, open two of the things at once or whatever. Uh, hang on. Oh, wait. Yes? Hang on. I'll be back. All right, I opened it, and I think I actually broke it or something. So, uh, before we see what's in there, let's take a look at this. Ooh, is this Dragon Ball? I think it's Dragon Ball because I can see Freezer. Uh, no, that's not Freezer. This I thought that was Freezer. That's actually um, Gotenks's hair. Okay, so we've got a uh, Ultra Instinct thing. That's cool. Um, ooh, that's Timebreaker Bardock. Uh, I mean, that's that's Timebreaker. He's not Bardock. Ha 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 ha. Um, there we got Ultra Instinct Goku Gotenks. Um, oh, okay. We've got. Trunks doing the fusion dance and Jace and Timebreaker Bardock. Okay, um, right, let's see which one we get and then we'll. Wow, these are very small. I think we've got Trunks because his hair is greyish purple. Um, okay, admittedly, I think Bardock would have been the coolest, obviously. Um, or Ultra Instinct Goku, actually. But let's pull him out. It's quite a small one. But you know, it's not terrible, so there is our fusion boy doing the fusion dance. It really does not want to focus. Okay, I think that's fairly focused. This is tiny, to be fair. So yeah, that's that's quite a nice little thing. It's nice to have a Dragon Ball thing. Um, last month we got a Sailor Moon thing, which I don't, I'm not really a big fan of. But, you know, this, this is pretty cool. I'm not a massive Trunks fan, but... You know, it's uh, it's very, very well detailed. And I assume there's another set, maybe with, like, Gotenks that's doing the other side or whatever. But yeah, so I'll take a look exactly what this set is, and I'll be right back. So this is the Dragon Ball UDM figures. I'm not really sure what that stands for, as they didn't explain. But it's basically, you know, small Dragon Ball people. And indeed, that is it. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty neat. I'll put him to the side and delve into the one on the left. That's stuck with some of the packing paper. Uh, ooh, this is a rather big one. I'll I'll peel off this cell tape and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and yo, I don't know what this is, but it's like a cushiony thing. Let me pull that. Oh, okay. So it's kind of packaged. I'm gonna try and like not look at it myself. I'll do this by feel. Uh, is there an easy opening? No? Okay, I'll be right back. 
Okay, so we have hats. <laughs> okay, this is just getting bizarre. Oh, the absolute hell. Oh, I think this is mentioned in the little leafler thing, actually. So I think these are cat hats. Are they actually hats for cats? Uh, right, I think we got the koala one, just going by the... We, we do indeed have a cat hat. Well, all right then. Um, I don't have a cat. I mean, I've got a family member who's got a cat, but are these for... Okay, well then. I'll, I'll have a quick read, because I think, I think I know where they are. These are indeed cat hats. Dress up your cat or your favourite plushie in time for Halloween. That's, that's unfortunately been. But, okay. Um, I don't think I have any plushies that are that small, really, to be fair. Um, a cat head's really that small. I suppose, uh, I suppose, like, the face would come out. That's really bizarre. Um, alright. I mean, it's kind of cute and everything. I can't imagine cats would be happy with this, though. Like, have you ever tried dressing up a cat? My family had, like, a Santa outfit for, um, my sister's family for her cat once, and he fucking hated it. Absolutely could not stand it. He tried walking away and just meowed angrily at us that a cat's really that patient because i imagine most of them would just like scratch you and run away also okay in interesting one there they're apparently really popular in japan i mean you know different different strokes for different folks as they were uh right next up ooh, it's a very silvery thing and it sounds a bit hard so it's not going to be another cat at uh right i'll be back all right, I'm back. I've loosened it. Uh, ooh. <gasps> Yo, okay. Okay. Okay, I'm... I'm pretty fucking hyped for this. This is a ghost Pokemon gacha. Wow, I... That is cool. So I didn't spot... I think I saw something purple when I opened it up. Kind of hoping for the one of the ghastly trio. I like Mischievous. Uh, Duskull I'd really like as well. Um, oh, this is so cool. Okay, I'm really excited for this. Let's see what one we got. Oh, is that a Haunter? That? Oh, yo, that's a Haunter. Okay, hang on. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. So, um, they've got a flat back. What the heck is that? Okay, in interest. Oh, is that a magnet? Oh, that's a magnet, isn't it? Oh, so you put this on like a fridge or something. I don't have a fridge in my room, but you know, I've got I've got a fridge. Dude, this is so cool. Like you, technically, I mean, you could like put some blue tack or something, put it on a wall or whatever. Oh man, that is that's like super detailed as well. Also, a hunter is my favorite of the trio. Um, Gastly's cool and Gengar's cool as well. But oh man. That's so, so I I take it that like hang on looking quickly back on them then so yeah you get like that's what they look like then so um yeah that's that's really cool I mean I wouldn't have mind the Mister of Us one it's like I really like that Pokemon but yo I think I got the best of the bunch there hands down this makes up for the weird cat hat thing absolutely so far this crate is off to a very very good kind of. Uh, well, not start, we're about halfway through, but because uh, there are three left, yes, there are. Let's go for the little one in the middle. Uh, actually, I don't know why I don't show you guys the inside of this, because it's hard to make out, but just in case it's, like, obvious through one of the balls, because, you know, I think it's more fun to not know what's coming up until it does. Hey, this is one of those really easy ones. So, what is this of? Ooh, this is, uh, Tommy? No, what is this? No, oh, Takara, Takara Tomi Aris. Disney, Disney Halloween? Okay, so we've got, like, Disney Halloween stuff, as I just said. That's kind of cute. Um, yeah, so they're dressed as pumpkins, so I'd quite like them, really, I guess. Ghost Dog. Mickey and Minnie dressed as, like, a witch and a wizard, or a vampire, I guess, and a 
which probably. Uh, right, okay, let's see what we... Yes, it's a Chippendale thing, dressed as a pumpkin. Um, for those of you who have seen many of my other videos, you'll know I've got a thing for pumpkins, not like a weird sexual thing, just I really like pumpkins. Oh, that's adorable. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a huge Disney person, per se, but, you know, that's really cute. That's, uh, that's very nice. Especially, that, that's really cute. Like, you know, uh, Chip, Chippendale, I think they're called Chippendale. Never been a massive Chippendale fan or anything. I think they showed up in Kingdom Hearts sometimes, and that was really cool. But yeah, that's, that kind of looks a bit like a skull version of them, but it's obviously it's a pumpkin. That is really nice, and again, highly detailed. And it's nice to have a figure, and not like a weird cat hat thing. Not that, you know... Not that I hate weird gimmicky things, but it's nice to have figures because you can actually just display them. Okay, so there's a smaller thing and then there's a bigger thing. Ooh, this is lime green, already off to a good start. Uh, right, I'm going to have to peel all the cell tape off again, BRB. Alright, I'm back. Uh, let's grab this little bit of paper. Uh, ooh. This is... What is this then? Shoes. Okay. Right. Oh, I just realised. Um, I didn't read the last two things about the Pokemon one and the Disney one, so I'll read those in a minute. Because I need to know what the absolute hell... Are they combs? Are these like cloth combs? I guess? Or something? Which shoe do I want? Um, well, that, that looks a good one, number three. Right, I'll have a, I'll have a look at what we got with this, and then I'll read the descriptions quickly of those other threes, because I kind of just got distracted. Oh, wait, oh no, okay, no, I didn't get, didn't get the th number three I was hyped for, but, ooh, sound like an elastic thing. It, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah, this feels like fabric, uh, well, you know that, like, you can dust your clothes. I don't know why I brushed my finger. My finger isn't close. But yeah, this is like stretchy and stuff. Um, right, let's let's have a read of what these things are. Okay, so the Pokemon things were the Ghost Type Slim Magnet. And indeed, I got the best one from that. And that is the Disney Happy Halloween. Ah, and apparently Disneyland, Disneyland's like marketing campaign was what brought, you know, Halloween to like Japan in a big way. That's cool. Glad I didn't get those, because, uh, as I said, Mickey and Minnie just, they don't do it for me, you know? Um, and that is a slipper screen cleaner. Ah, phone charms. No, they won't be big enough to protect your toes from the hot sand, but they're useful in their own special way as screen cleaners. So those are what we were meant to get as well, Neko Kaburu. So they're angry, angry kittens or something. Okay, Japan Japan is a thing for cats. Um, I like cats, but not quite that much. That's actually kind of cool. That's a screen cleaner for, like, my phone, so I can... Oh, yo, it's not bad, I think. I don't know, I'll actually do it, like, in earnest later, but, you know, fairly decent. Right, okay, what is our last one? I've left, like, the big feeling one for last. I think I got a mild peek at it just then, looking at the thing, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, yet again, I will peel all this cell tape off, and I'll be right back. Alright, we are back with the final item. What? It, ooh. Okay. Uh, cats? Pudding cats? Pudding cats. Probably pudding cats. Are these stamps of some kind? Hang on. Came in, like, two different things, which is interesting. Oh, they're food cats. Wait, what? Are they... Oh, the tempura! <laughs> right, the tempura animals! So tempura is kind of like fry, batter fried kind of thing, it's like shrimp. Um, oh, the shark and the dolphin are really cute, actually. Um, man, that's weird. Okay, I'll read up what these are in a minute. So I thought originally this was Kirby, because the pink thing, obviously it's not. So yeah, the, like tempura things. Right, what one did we get? Uh, let's see. 
Ooh, they're squishy. They're really squishy. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that because displaying squishy things is, you know, not as easy really, I suppose. Hey. Let's tear it open and... Ooh, wow. Yeah, that's... What even is that? That is a white blobby thing. And yeah, look. It's kind of... I mean, it is a bit like tempura shrimp, I guess. In that, like... You know, it's a bit, well, soft and stuff. I don't know what the hell that's meant to be, though. Is that a rabbit? It's not a rabbit, there's no ears. It's just like a white, cute white thing. Like a layer of... Okay, I'll I'll read up more of these out. It's not actually... So it's soft, but it's not sticky, if that makes sense. Like, oh, okay, I dropped it. Be right back. All right, th these are Animal Ebby 10. Hey, okay, they were tempura. Oh, they're stretchy and squishy. Okay, that explains it. So yeah, they're kind of like tempura animals then. I don't know what Ebby 10 means, but I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me if uh, if you know. If you don't know, then don't tell me, I suppose. And have a look at the rest of this um, this little leaf -like thing. I'll be right back. All right, so yeah, the rest of it is, it kind of shows um, staff favourites. That is fucking adorable. If there's a ditto anything uh, transformed into any other Pokemon, I'm a sucker for it. I just, I don't know, that, that face and stuff. Um, and yeah, the the back is actually pretty informative. So it's, um, so it basically, it kind of describes spots in Japan for like, um, go into if you want to buy, I guess, stuff like this and other collectibles. So there's Akihabara, which you're probably aware of. That's kind of like the nerd capital of uh, Japan. Then there's Nakano Broadway, which is apparently kind of like a shopping mall -y kind of place that's known for its kind of more niche specialty shops. And then there is Nippon, Nippon Bashi, which I've heard of before because it's where the Gundam store is. Um, yeah, you know, the more I read about Japan, the more I kind of really, really want to go there. Um, and, you know, spend an inordinate amount of money on gacha like these. Anyway, I'm going to organise them in a nice presentable manner and I shall be right back all right then so I'm back with the uh, wrap-up kind of summary thing um, of this month's gacha gacha crate or well October's so yeah I've got to say overall this is actually quite a lot better than the first one I think the first one was kind of like it was nice there but there were a few kind of slightly generic -y things like the dog dressed as another dog and um, I've got to say the big ticket one the um, Sailor Moon thing I didn't really and that's purely just because of me I'm sure a lot of people really appreciated that this month has been a lot more solid I think the cat hat thing I've got to say I don't you know maybe like I'll give it to someone who has like plushies or dolls or something you know as a hat because I can guarantee you no cat is going to wear that for more than about three seconds before trying to claw your eyes out but yeah Going through it then, the Dragon Ball keychain, while it is very small, is really nice, actually. It's like, wouldn't put her in a bag or something, because that arm is going to snap off uh, as soon as you move. But, you know, that's really nice to have. I, I never mind having more Dragon Ball stuff. The tempura thing is actually has actually really grown on me. I was kind of a bit weirded out and nonplussed, but really like that. I mean... I can attach this to my phone, I suppose. It's nice to have a quick, you know, clean screener. I mean, everyone's got microfiber things these days, I assume. But it's a nice, weird one, I think. That's very cute. Um, you know, I'll keep it. But, like, you know, it, it again, I'm not a massive Disney fan. But that is very cute. And that, holy shit, I'm so, so, I so love these. Like... If I'd known this was a collection, I probably would have ordered some from Japan or something. So yeah, overall, really, really happy with this crate. Um, I've got one more coming, and then I'll decide whether I want to keep doing this. Um, if you do happen to watch all of my videos, I do um, loot anime. I was going to cancel the subscription after three months and try something else, but it renewed already. So um, another three months of that, yay! So yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. I've probably left a link to like you know a playlist or something and a random video on subscribe button um and yeah i've left a link to my november page at the bottom if you'd like to donate to that or read about it more on the website and until next time goodbye